get out of hand like it did, and why did it get away from them so quickly? Um, I just thought our team did a really good job just being ready to play, coming out from the gates. Uh, you know, everyone was keyed in. Uh, we know what the task at hand, and everyone just came out and executed, and uh, things just went our way tonight. You, John, you've played a, uh, a lot of basketball in your life. Did, at some point, you know, when the score is getting away from another opponent, is, is it in, your, in our culture to even feel some empathy for the other team, or do you just say, you know what, that's your problem, we're going to play, you got, you got to do what you got to do? Um, I would say to a certain extent, but, I mean, when when the game gets like that and out of hand like that, it's just a time for our team to focus on things we need to get better at and not just go out there and just keep, like, playing wild. So I think that's just something to help our team as well. Because when you get ahead like that, other everybody can play, right? Yeah. And yeah. that's important. Mm -hmm. Lonnie, you you seem to be more <clears throat> aggressive every game. Uh, do you feel like it's starting to come for you? Uh, I think so, yeah. I think I just got to build up from game to game. And that's it. Just learn from the previous game and try to do step by step and try to get a habit of being aggressive. Juwan, do you like playing these kind of games uh, against these kind of inferior opponents? Well, uh, I'm not enjoy just playing basketball, really. But, uh, you know, when games get out of hand like that, I mean, like you said, it's just, you know, a time for everybody to, you know, get minutes, you know, get better. Because, you know, down at the end of the world, we're going to need, you know, Sandy, Patrick, mm -hmm. we're going to need, you know, from the top guy on the bench to, you know, all our starters and running everyone, so uh, it's good for, you know, get people this experience early on. Juwan, how important, how important was it for you personally to hit those two jump shots there at the start of the half after you kind of started the season a little slow? I mean, uh, feel good. like you're in a flow or something now or whatever? Uh, it felt good. Uh, I'm just glad it went down. Uh, like I said, uh, it's been a little rough for me at the beginning of the year, but, you know, just keep shooting. You know, I'm shooting good shots, I feel like. And, uh, you know, it's just times that they're about to fall and I'm just happy it was tonight. How was your first, first three-pointer? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't have any kind of reaction. Oh, yeah. You know, Coach Penner says you got to act like you've been there before, you know. But uh, I haven't, so. <laughs> <laughs> but it was pretty cool. Uh, it took me to my senior year. I finally got one, so I was pretty excited. Just couldn't show it too much, though. So game was still going. John, are you, you know, it's interesting, coaches talk a lot about how some guys are, are practice shooters and some guys when we, as coach talks about when they turn the, he turns the popcorn on, some guys really take their game to another level. Uh, you've shot the ball extremely well recently. Is that a carryover for practice or are you a guy that shoots well with the popcorn stuff? Um, it's a little bit of both, but I've, it's something I've worked on in the off season. Because you know how you have guys like Lewis Jackson, Jerome Johnson, and Etuan, they can drive the ball real well and just uh, uh, have people collapse on them. So I figure that's a that's a spot for me to work on so that I can knock down the open jump shot. But it's, I mean, in practice, I work on it in practice. I, work, I shoot before and after practice, and I come in and shoot with some of the coaches as well. It's just something that I worked on and I, I personally wanted to do myself. John, there was a point that you had made three in a row, I think, on three consecutive possessions, and one of them, they let you have it. Were, were you kind of surprised about that? You seemed like you kind of looked at him and was like, all right. And yeah, then, and I, it was kind of wild. I was kind of shocked myself. I was so wide open. But, yeah. I mean, I don't really know. I was just open, I guess. You won 30 assists on 41 field goals. Are you guys making a, a focus on getting the ball around, making the extra pass? <clears throat> yeah, you know, that's something that Coach Painter really talks about, you know, every day. Just, you know, moving the ball, getting good action, and uh, just being unselfish. You know, uh, every time we watch film, you know, we, when we're unselfish, we're really effective. Uh, when people start doing, doing their own thing, uh, you know, we're not as good as we you know, are when we're, you know, not being selfish. So uh, that's something that, you know, we try to really work on, and uh, we did a good job with it today. Hey, Juwan, change it a little bit next time. Obviously, they're a little better. Keith Benson in the middle of the game, I'm sure you've heard of. Uh, mm -hmm. Have you seen him? What do you think about playing against a guy who's projected to be an NBA draft pick? Oh, it's any time you get an opportunity to play someone, high caliber, uh, you're definitely going to bring your A game. You know, I'm definitely excited just to have the opportunity to match up against someone like that. Uh, I know our team will be ready to play, and uh, it should be a good game.